What's up guys, Jeff here from Techno Audio Reviews. Today we will talk about an upgrade cable for in-ear monitors from Effect Audio. And this is the Eros 2. So from the last video that I published, I reviewed the Jomo Audio in-ear monitor. The Jomo 2 which has two balanced armature speaker configuration. And I also gave my one week listening impression to the Jomo 2 using this particular cable. I've been using this cable for almost two months now and I want to share with you guys if this $300 cable from Effect Audio really makes a difference. Is it worth an upgrade from your stock cable? Let's find out. So I've been using the Aeros 2 cable since December last year and it comes with this little white fancy box which does not include anything except for the cable itself. I first used it with my IEM during that time which is the Cypher Lab C6 IEM version 2. So as you can see the Aeros 2 consists of two different wire material which consists of UPOCC Litz Copper and Silver Hybrid 26AWG configuration and according to Effect Audio this particular cable design will offer more balance, more staging and vocal presence. They use a clear cable insulation which as you can see will allow you to see the actual wires. The cable feels perfectly built with great type rating from top to bottom. The insulation is very flexible and doesn't have any microphonics when touching my clothes. My particular cable design is using standard 2-pin connector for in-ear monitors that use standard 2-pin sockets. They also use a heat shrink for the ear guide which I prefer more because of comfort rather than having a metal ear guide. They use an aluminum Y split with carbon fiber design which adds to the premium feeling of this cable. Same with the termination, they use a rhodium plated 2.5mm plug which looks very durable. You can request for a specific Y split or termination type as well as other connector for your in-ear monitors or headphones by configuring your order to effect audio website. Now for the sonic changes, I know that some of you guys doesn't believe in cable effects. But I do want to share with you guys that I'm really hearing a difference in sound from my Jomo 2 using this particular cable. And upgrade cables which are having the qualities of resistivity, conductivity, purity, and unique geometry all together are acting as a filter between your music players and headphones. So that's the reason why I'm hearing a difference. Out of the box, the Jomo 2 is kind of warm and slightly V-shaped sounding where there is an elevated bass response and a little neutral mids and a bright treble from 5000 kHz. Resolution from lower frequencies is not that great as it lacks some definition and layering. Same with the mid frequency, resolution is below average due to lack of space between instruments and vocals. And when it comes to treble response, everything is linear except for the lower treble from 5000 kHz which is bright and unnatural sounding on some songs. Extension is little above average with decent staging height and width but not that great when it comes to micro details. Now when I first heard the usual songs that I listened to the Jomo 2 using the Aeros 2 cable, I remember the description with effect audio that it will add more balance, more staging and vocal presence. I would say that it matches what I experience in using this cable. It doesn't really change the tonality of the headphone that you are using. What it does is it increases the air between instruments, adding an extra layer of separation and allows the finer details to shine through. Bass is quite the same but more tighter sounding to my ears and layering improves a bit where I can clearly distinguish the sub bass to mid bass. The mid frequency became closer, vocals and string instruments like acoustic guitars have more presence. It's still neutral but more detailed sounding because of the improved mid resolution which allows me to hear the elements more clear. Trouble area has also more extension just like the mid frequency. I hear better resolution and transparency where micro details are now noticeable. The treble spike from 5000 kHz is still there but it sounds a little cleaner this time compared to the stock cable which really caused discomfort to my ears on some aggressive rock songs. This particular cable makes my Jomo 2 sounding more realistic because of the added dynamic sound with better resolution and transparency in particular. And for me, the feeling is more studio-like instead of the warm sound that I heard from the Jomo 2 stock cable. So is this cable worth an upgrade for $300? I think your milliage will vary because sonic changes of this particular cable will not be the same on other headphones. So I think it will be up to the satisfaction of the listener if this cable really makes a difference. But as for me, 
I really like the added dynamics and improved resolution and transparency this cable does to my in-ear monitors, which is definitely not a placebo effect. So how about you? Do you also use upgrade cables to improve the sound of your headphones or in-ear monitors? Let me hear what you think and leave a comment on this video. If you like this episode, please like this video and subscribe to my channel as well as hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload it and you can pen. So this is Jeff once again from Techno Audio Reviews and see you next time guys.